most watched, most trusted weather source. Here's your certified most accurate first alert forecast. After a very warm and humid weekend, temperatures are now in a downward trend, but by the end of the week, we start another warming trend. Probably going to be another warm weekend with temperatures near or in the 70s and may come with the chance of some thunderstorms as well before temperatures start to cool as we head into next week. So a lot of up and down and that's expected to continue for at least the next week, maybe the next two weeks as our, our pattern looks a little more active over the next few weeks. Right now, though, rain chances not too impressive for this midweek system as we head into the weekend, keeping chances on the lower side just because we don't know the timing yet of that best chance right now looks Saturday night into Sunday, but could maybe be pushed back Sunday into Monday, depending on how things trend tonight expected to stay dry. Watching these showers just off to the west, they should fizzle out before they approach I-95, but we'll keep an eye on them. middle part of the country. These are our scattered showers for Tuesday night into Wednesday. Not a big rainmaker for us, but it is going to bring in some cold air. You can kind of see our flow coming out of the Great Lakes in Canada. So this system not going to be here long. And if we had some colder air and better moisture in place, Maybe we would get better rain chances or even some wintry weather chances, but being early December, just not really enough cold air to tap into. And then we had this system in January or February, probably be talking snow showers rather than just plain old rain. As we head into the weekend, we start to see signs of our next system. This model a little delayed, kind of pushing things back into Monday more than Sunday. Other data brings us in earlier in the weekend. So that's kind of what I'm talking about on the timing aspect, but this is going to be a very strong system, well-developed system expected to maybe wrap in some snow as far south as portions of Arkansas, Oklahoma into Missouri. So this would be a southern storm that could even have a severe weather aspect within the deep south and as it lifts our direction could carry somewhat of a severe risk with it as well. But right now just not enough confidence in the timing of when that severe weather could possibly be possibly be if it would include our part of the Carolinas. As we look outside, things expected to stay quiet tonight, but definitely colder than what we've had over the weekend. No 60s and 70s tonight already down to 50 in Greenville and Washington, 61 in Beaufort, but 40s from Windsor up to Hosky and Roanoke Rapids. Most of us wake up in the 30s tonight could even be as low as the mid 30s with 40s expected down on the coast. Despite that cold start, temperatures warm up into the 50s, could even see a few 60s, but just not quite as warm tomorrow as it was today. And same will be true for Wednesday. When high struggle to get out of the 40s in some spots. Next big impact probably going to be this weekend, but we do have a system before that. That'll start to move in late Tuesday. You can see some scattered showers to our north, even some snow showers trying to creep in maybe south of Richmond, but but just not expecting any of that snow to linger into our area. And we are expecting those showers to be out of here before temperatures even get close to freezing by Thursday morning. Coastal five day forecast showing not a great chance for rain on the coast with this next system, but this is going to bring in the colder air frosty, frosty start expected Thursday morning with temperatures in the mid 30s for inland areas, probably upper 20s returning to the forecast and highs barely out of the 40s, if out of the 40s at all. Weekend chances looking a little bit higher, temperatures a little bit warmer, and then we kind of cool down heading into next week as well. And we've seen this already this winter. We've had the cold, we've had some rain. They just haven't uh, lined up together. I feel it's, like we're going to be watching that all winter. That's basically <laughs> the, our winter forecast right. is when we can time those things together. Exactly. It usually doesn't happen this early. So right. give it another month or two. Really think January and February, especially early February, yeah. kind of my hot spot for maybe our best chance for winter weather this we'll year. We'll have some time. Yep. All right. Thanks, Zach.